So I wanted to do a really quick video on how to keep your feet warm while you're hunting, sitting on stand for long periods of time. I came up with a little trick and it has nothing to do with socks or, or what kind of boots, multiple items that I put together and it actually works to keep my feet warm. I have really bad feet, whether it be because I have bad circulation or whatever, but I think this is worth doing a video on because I've never seen anybody do this and uh, it might help somebody out there who has bad feet like I do and just can't seem to keep them warm. I hunt about 30 or 40 times a year and we're in northern Wisconsin, so um, this is as cold as it gets for whitetail hunting. Um, so what I do is I never wear two pairs of socks, first of all. I think um, that constricts your feet too much and um, it, it, it makes my feet cold. So that hasn't worked for me. I've bought the best boots, whether it be 1600 gram rubber boots, which I don't think rubber boots are, are the thing to wear. Um, I wear rubber boots if I have to cross a creek or something because um, they hold all the moisture. And uh, your feet being wet is what is going to um, cause your feet to get cold. That's gonna be the number one reason. So if I have to go out for a long walk before I get to my stand, what I do is I wear a cotton sock, soaks up the moisture, I get to my stand, I put it in a bag, in my pack, the socks, and then I take out a nice pair of thick wool socks. But if I'm going for a long walk, I'll wear like an 800 gram boot. Um, warm enough to keep me warm if I decide to still hunt, but it's small enough where it's easy to walk and your feet don't get too hot while you're walking. And then what I do is I carry in boot blankets. Now that's not, I don't just wrap the boot, my boot with the boot blanket. What I do is I have a sorrel type boot with a felt liner. A nice felt liner. I don't like to use the um, fleece type ones or whatever the, the other type. I like a felt liner because I, I believe that it um, wicks your moisture better. What I'll do is I'll take a thermosel if it gets really cold. I will stick that in the felt liner and then I will take the felt liner and put it inside the boot blanket. Now, if I'm going out, I'll have all of these in the boot blanket already. And I will take that and I will strap it to the back of my pack. Now this doesn't weigh much, I don't know what this is. A pound, so both of them are two pounds maybe. And then I'll walk out with my 800 gram boot. I take my boots off, I keep them at the bottom of my stand. I'll probably, um, Usually I flip them upside down so the smells don't come out. I might cover it with something. Um, you can put them in your pack, whatever you have to do. But after you get in stand, then you put this, this on. This is the best way I've found to keep my feet warm, is to put a thermosel inside of a felt boot insert, and then that inside of a boot blanket. And that is a ton of insulation under your feet and over the top. And if that doesn't keep you warm, nothing will. But it's nice to get your foot out of the boot and put it in here because that will wick the moisture away. Um, getting them inside of a boot, whatever the reason, it keeps my feet cold. And once I take them out of the boot and put them in a boot blanket, um, there's no constriction or at all. There's a lot of dead air space and that keeps my feet warm. So try that sometimes. It's more stuff to carry in, but uh, it's really not too bad because it compresses down. You can um, put it in your uh, straps on the back of your pack and constrict them down. And it's not that big a deal. I've, I've left my stand and you can put your, your 800 gram boots back on, take a walk and still be comfortable. So it works out really well. So if anybody has bad feet, try that sometime. You're doing an all day sit. It's no big deal to strap this on the back of your pack and uh, be comfortable and not have cold feet, not have to worry about it, which is a big reason why a lot of us come out of the stand.
These grouse are 20 feet away from me and they're not even flying. <laughs> of course. While I'm deer hunting. <laughs>